Hello lovelies, I'm Nyx. Welcome to my cozy little corner of the internet. In today's video, we're going to be playing some more Animal Crossing. I have a few updates for you guys since the last video. I challenged myself originally to no time traveling, which is difficult for me because I am very addicted to time travel. So I made it a whole three days without time traveling. And after that, I decided that I wanted to time travel again because I wasn't having as much um, fun as I would have liked. And I realized that I wanted to decorate my island in the springtime, not in summer. So I time traveled back. Uh, just so that I could be in the right season to kind of see what I wanted to do for my island. Well, since then, we have had quite a few developments on Magnolia. We got our first campsite villager, Klaus. It could have been worse, but I am not a fan of him. Uh, we also reached three stars and went on some other villager hunts in the last video we had gotten chrissy flurry and drago then we got klaus at our campsite and then i went villager hunting and managed to find maple and molly i don't know how i managed to do that because i usually have terrible luck but i found both of them and under like 30 tickets and then Marshall, I got for I got from somebody for um, free. He's un, he was ungifted, and he's my favorite, so I just snatched him up right away. Um, we will be going on another villager hunt here soon because Cat asked me to leave yesterday, and I told her yes because I do not like her very much. Uh, she just I. I don't care much for her design and she does not fit with this island theme like whatsoever. So we're probably going to be going on a villager hunt here soon. I also downloaded a bunch of custom design codes. So JK, I'm actually going to show you guys the little mood board that I created for my island. So these are the two paths that I'm thinking about using. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this one or not. So I decided that I wanted to do a uh, kind of like a cottage core slash like natural island. And then I just kept finding more and more grandma core codes that I liked because I knew that I wanted to do like a vintage cottage core. So we have some vintage elements, some grandma core elements and some cottage core elements. So I'm kind of doing a mix of like all three themes. At least that's what I'm planning to do on my island. I'm very excited. Anyway, um, I believe today is the day that Kat moved out. So, yep. So we're going to go on a little villager hunt. I'm not looking for um, like super specific villagers. I do have a list of ones that I want for this island. However, it's a list of like 20 or so because I didn't want to like have to go through picking the specific ones that I wanted now because I usually change my mind later. Um, So I do know for sure that if I find Teddy, I am taking him. I am also taking Molly if I see her. Other than that, um, it's basically just going to be if I can find somebody on my list, I'll take them or somebody that I think fits the theme or like my colors meringue too i will also take her i think she would work very well for the theme that i'm doing well i already saw up here and i'm pretty sure that's pango and i do not want her so we're just gonna leave i wonder how many tickets it's gonna take me to find somebody good or that's on my list because it seems like when i villager hunt off camera, I have a lot more success, but then when I film, 
I have like terrible luck finding who I want to fi- who I want to find in like a reasonable amount of tickets. So I guess we'll see. I like I'm not entirely sure because I haven't villager hunted on this island yet. So far, I've been having a lot better luck though. Okay, we have Olive. She's on my list for potential villagers. However, I don't think her colors work very well with the colors that I have for my island. Interesting. Uh, are there two fossils on this island? Oh, I forgot. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never... I forgot that was a thing. I was like, why are there two fossils? It wasn't a fossil, it was a stupid egg. Oh, I don't know what to do. We're only three tickets in and we found Rosie. I do have her amiibo. I don't think she's on my list. She is very cute. However, she's very bright purple. And while that's cute and while it's my favorite color, I don't know that it entirely fits my aesthetic. However, she's so cute. But I think I think we're going to have to leave Rosie because we're only three tickets into the hunt. And I feel like I could find somebody who fits a little bit better with my theme as much as I love Rosie and it pains me to do this. We're going to leave and I will probably just end up regretting this later and looking like a fool. Please, <laughs> please don't hate on me too much for leaving her. I'm sorry. I just... We're only like three tickets in. I don't know. We'll just see. Okay, there's a DIY bottle, so that's at least good. Well, it makes up for um, Angus being here. I believe that's what his name is. I do not need a bright orange bowl on my island. Thank you. Uh, I don't want cashmere. Yes, I I know, game. I should have just taken Rosie. They're going to make me regret it like tenfold by giving me villagers that I would never, never want to have on my island. I mean, like, sure, they're great for other people and... It's great that other people love them and probably enjoy having them, but I... I can't do it. I don't want this hunt to take super long because I have to work later tonight and I'm basically just like filming before I have to go into work. However, I've been getting bothered all day to try to go into work at like... 7 30 a.m and stay until close and i'm like no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that like that job does not treat me well at all and frankly they don't deserve that much of my time like they hardly even deserve the time that they get from me from me being scheduled <sighs> uh chatter's all right but we're gonna leave like he's not great but anyway uh they hardly like deserve that time so why would i give them more i don't care if i need the money or not like i'm i have standards so a little bit about me i've been working at the company that i'm with for a little over a year now i've worked my way up to being a manager however i hate working there because my boss who's the gm is very hands-off and just likes to sit on his butt and not actually 
help do any work. He basically just sits at the desk all day and then like tells people that they're doing things wrong or they're not doing things fast enough. And he was gone for about a week because he had surgery on his shoulder and then he came back into work even though his doctor told him that he was supposed to be out for six weeks because apparently he couldn't stay away so now he's like complaining while he's at work that he's in pain and he can't do all of this stuff so he wants everybody else basically his salaried employees to pick up the slack for him and basically do his job because he can't do it but he's back at work anyway I don't want to take bubbles so it's kind of annoying because you have people that are making very little money doing the work of a salaried manager because they came back to work before they were ready and cannot do half of their job because it is a very um, labor intensive, well, not like a super labor intensive job, but you need to be able to use like your arms and lift a lot of heavy things and all of that. And he can't do any of that. So he makes other people do it for him. And it just like, it doesn't make anybody we already hated working there, and that makes us hate working there more because we're expected to do even more now than he was expecting us to do before for the, like, small amount of pay that people are getting. It's just ridiculous. And then he basically messaged a bunch of the managers today and was like, Oh, our prep person called out for the day. If anybody wants to pick up extra hours to help me, that would be very much appreciated since I still can't, like, lift the fryer baskets myself. And I'm giving our saute person a crash course on prep right now, but I need help. And I'm like, well, that's kind of your own fault. And, like, I don't like to be... I don't like to be rude. I'm not a rude person, but this job is literally, like, it's run by a bunch of middle-aged white men who get off on hiring a bunch of women that they can boss around and tell what to do. And it's just very annoying because they basically treat us all like crap and everybody's underpaid the expectations are too high the boss doesn't do his job like i could sit here and talk all day about why it's an actual bad job but i don't want to bore you guys with that i'm just like a little livid because i already work tonight i am not about to pull a like 12 hour shift for this place that i hate just because my boss needs help. So I want to start like talking to you guys a little bit more. Um, so I'm wondering for people who've made it this far in the video, uh, have you had any similar experiences with jobs that you've had before that are absolutely terrible or a manager that's really bad at their job and just makes everybody miserable and not want to work there. Um, I'd like to hear some of your horror stories down in the comments. Also, I'm curious to know if you guys have a least favorite villager, what that villager, who that villager is, or if you have like multiple, if you don't have one, I'm curious because mine would be Hippo. But there are a lot of others that I strongly dislike. I just don't like Hippo because he auto-filled on my island one time and it was like the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And I just... He grosses me out a lot. Wendy is cute, but not who we're looking for, so we're not going to take her. Please don't let this hunt take forever. I have stuff to do today, Oroville. 
because if it does take a while, I'm going to have to continue it into another day or just let the plot autofill, and I don't want to do that. I should have just taken Rosie. Like, she doesn't fit the aesthetic, but she would have been a fine stand-in villager until I was able to go hunting to find somebody else. So I don't know why I didn't just take her. I should have. I'm kind of regretting it now. This is usually what happens to me when I hunt. And it's not getting any better. I do not want Gaston. Also, I was saying earlier that I am not a very rude person. Um, that is true. I'm only, like, mean to the villagers in here that I don't like because they're pixelated animals in a video game. And I don't think it's really that harmful for me to express my opinions about not liking a villager as long as I'm not, like, bashing somebody else for liking a villager because you're allowed to like whoever you want. Um... However, that doesn't mean that I am going to treat real living things that way. Like, I would never treat an animal that way, and I certainly wouldn't talk to a human that way unless they gave me good reason to. Alright, um, yeah, that, no. Why... Literally, the game is punishing me for not taking Rosie. That's 100% what's going on. Like, I don't... I don't understand. We haven't even gotten an okay villager since then. It's just like, oh, you didn't take Rosie? Yeah, sucks to suck. Here you go. Have a bunch of crappy ones that you don't want that don't fit your... aesthetic or anything. Like, Wendy's probably the best villager that we've seen since then and i don't even really like her that much like she's fine but that's about the extent of it <sighs> we have Mott. i don't want him i don't want carlos either why am i getting such terrible villagers right now i'm sorry i didn't take rosie right who where is the villager on this island? Because the fire is in the other direction. It's over here. So that means that they should be theoretically on the right side of the island. However, okay. Found them. It's Blue Bear. At least we found somebody who is like at least somewhat cute like she's she's very cute however she is a bit too bright for the island that i'm thinking of and i think she's just like a little bit more kid core overall uh however i mean like obviously she could work in any theme take villagers if you want to take them you don't have to just have them fit whatever theme you're doing i just prefer to to do that with mine. That's just a preference that I have. Also, I haven't been trying to like make so many villager hunts on my channel in such a short amount of time because I mean, while villager hunts are like can be exciting to watch, they're definitely like not the most interesting content and it like you're literally just watching somebody look for villagers. I just happen to keep having villagers ask me to leave because I time travel quite a bit. Or in this case, like I started a new island. Alright, I mean we found one of the new villagers. I think his name is Marlo. I do not want him for this island though, so we're just gonna leave. I wish we were getting more updates even if they were small to this game just like if we got small like quality of life updates that would change things so much for people and i feel like it would make them want to play again 
Because I feel like a lot of the reason that people stop playing is because the quality of life, uh, like, things that we do have in the game were just, like, so minor. Like, yeah, we got some with 2.0, but it wasn't, like, the ones that we wanted. Like, bulk crafting, bulk buying, and more items than just five. And, like... The thing that I was talking about with traveling to multiple islands when you're villager hunting, like, they're just small things. I'm sure that it would have probably still taken quite a bit of time to do on Nintendo's end, and I know that they're trying to work on, like, other games as well. But it would have just been nice to, even if it was just the small, like, quality of life updates... To have something. I would have preferred them to say like, hey, we're not going to give you any more like content. We might give you like a couple of items here and there for holidays, but like we're going to give you quality of life updates. I think a lot of people would be happy with that. If it's making the game a little bit more pleasing and like pleasurable to play. Because you don't have to keep tediously doing the same thing like when you're buying um shrubs from leaf and you have to count in your head how many you've bought because you have no idea until you check your pockets after talking to him like there's so many things like that in the game that could have been improved upon and i'm a little bit salty that we didn't have those things fixed. I am thankful for the things that we did get with the 2.0 update, but I think that we could have gotten a little bit more. Uh, not necessarily with that update, but just like later on. And we have Plucky. Don't want her, so we're gonna leave. Oh, I like, I think I've seen this villager on like one other hunt that I did on this channel i don't remember but i used to like never see pippi i had seen her on like one island maybe because she's not super popular um i saw her on like one person's island and then i was like i didn't even know that villager existed and then i just saw her on a hunt a little while back and now we saw her again, so that was kind of interesting. Like, I'm not a, a big fan of her or anything, which is why we left. But I think it's cool seeing villagers that I don't typically see on my villager hunts. Alright, let's see. And it's Quilson, and we're leaving. He's definitely not the best duck. There are way better ducks, in my opinion. It's fine if you like Quilson, I just don't care for him. Although, I probably would have preferred to have him over Klaus for my campsite vill- my campsite villager. Um, I mean, Klaus is, like, fine, but I don't know. Like, I don't like his design that much, and- he kind of weirds, weirds me out now because my friend Bacon had him at one point and his house is like a Roman bathhouse and she like went to talk to him right after he moved in and he was like sitting on the toilet. But he like didn't get on the toilet until she was already in there and like walked over to it and sat down on it and then like just did his business while well, she was in the same room and it was kind of creepy and ever since then I've been like yeah Klaus uh not really sure about you so that's the story of why I don't really care for Klaus is that Whitney up there that I see I think so I do like Whitney she's not my favorite um wolf she is very pretty however i prefer vivian and 
I also really like um, Freya and Sky. However, for this island, I think I would take Vivian and then possibly Freya, because Freya could work. Um, however, the wolves that I'm primarily looking for would be Fang and Dovey. But honestly, like, that would depend on who I end up seeing first, because that's basically how I've been basing my lineup for villagers, is just based on who I find first, aside from Rosie, because we're not going to talk about that. I don't know if I've really talked about why I decided to restart my island, but essentially I like hit a creative wall with the Pixie Hollow one, and as much as I would have liked to continue with it, I just wasn't having as much fun as I hoped I would have. Um, when I made my previous island, Storybrook, which was inspired by Once Upon a Time and had like, I I basically made it my own. I like kind of did autumn core with like fairy tale elements and then based it off of the TV show Once Upon a Time. So it was like, it wasn't entirely Once Upon a Time based. And I think that's where I started going wrong with the Pixie Hollow thing, is I was trying to get it too close to the movies. Also, like, I do like the films, but, like, they're not my favorite ever. I just thought that it would be really cute to do. Um, and I ended up just not liking it as much as I thought that I would, so I restarted. However, in the future, I do definitely want to try making a Harry Potter themed island. I think I would probably put a twist on that too and not focus solely on like accuracy. I would just kind of like base it off of that but then add like other elements of my own into it to make it more unique and original to me. Um, just because I feel like it's easier for me to decorate that way and it kind of makes my island stand out from other people who've done similar themes before. I also think it would be cool to do like a Lord of the Rings inspired island at one point. Also, if you guys can hear my cat in the background, that's because she just walked in and started screaming at me because she's mad that I'm recording instead of cuddling her. Or she's just trying to tell me that if I don't stop villager hunting, I'm just going to keep seeing villagers like this and be here all day. All right, now she is up on my shoulder and purring very loudly. I don't know if you guys can hear that at all or not. Um... She's also kind of whacking the mic with her tail again, like she has before. I hope that doesn't do much to the audio. If it does, I'm sorry, but I can't really control where she flicks her tail. She just wants to be on me while I record. She does this a lot with, um... She did this a lot when I was playing Fall Guys. She hasn't really done it with Animal Crossing, surprisingly, but apparently, because she just woke up, it's still, like, um, kind of early. It's not, like, super early in the morning, but she usually wants me right away when she wakes up, so I'm kind of not surprised that she, like, came in here to find me. Especially because I have to keep the door open when I record, because otherwise there's a really bad echo in here. Just because we're in, like, a little apartment and we haven't been able to, like, we can't, like, soundproof anything. So we just work with what we have. And keeping the door open just tends to work a bit better. Okay, ignore the fact that I ran into that tree there. I don't remember his name. Roswell, that's right. I, I never would have gotten it. He's also one of the new villagers, but I don't particularly want him. 
possibly on a future island. I think his design is really cool. However, if I was to take any alligator for this island, it would be Gale. And Hermione, what are you what are you doing? She's like climbing through my microphone right now. Hermione, mommy needs that to record. No, do not drink that. Guys, my cat is waging. She's like pure chaos right now. She's like, I just woke up. I'm really hyper and wired. I want attention and I'm going to knock your stuff over. I love her though, so I can't complain too much, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> I wish I could have shown you guys because it was we have a pop filter on the mic. I do not want to take Rocco. Never, 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 ever will I take him. I do not like him like at all. Anyway, we have a pop filter on the mic here and it's kind of set apart. It's so that the audio is more pleasing to the ear and it's not so like popping in your eardrums it makes it a lot more pleasant to listen to and she was climbing between the pop filter and the mic itself yes i will give you pets i will give you pets Oh, it's Eloise. She's cute, but if I'm going to take an elephant, I'm taking Ellie because she's like perfect for this island. So I'm going to have to pass on Eloise. And the Animal Crossing gods are probably going to wage war on me again. Because I turned down another cute villager that they gave me. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Hermione turned my mic when she was climbing through it. I hope that it didn't affect the audio too much, but... <sighs> it's Carmen. She's not that cute to me, so I'm just gonna leave her. I mean, she's, like, not terrible, so she's kind of an improvement over a lot of the other villagers that we've been seeing, but... She's also not somebody that I particularly want. Are you guys craving anything right now? Because for me, I like really want McDonald's. I don't know why. Uh, it's probably because I know that I can't have McDonald's right now, but it sounds really good. So far, the outfit has not helped at all. I was... So annoyed that I forgot to even start recording. Oh my god. What? I can't believe that actually just happened. Well, I added Chino to my list because she fits my colors. She probably doesn't fit like the theme super well, but she is a deer and I'm going to accept that for cottage core and I'm taking her because I had her on Storybrooke. I squeezed her in even though she didn't fit the theme that well because I love her design and I just loved her so much. I want to take her back. So wow, I literally cannot believe that we found Shino like. How did that even happen? Was it changing the outfit? I don't even understand, but I'm... I'm excited. Like, I'm very happy that we found somebody on my list, and I am not going to complain about it being Shino at all. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that was kind of a chaotic hunt. To be completely honest, I was very worried there that we weren't going to find anybody for a long time. But it's like insane. Absolutely insane. That we found Shino. 
<laughs> also, I don't know what happened there. That was kind of funny. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.